Yep, we're still in January, all right. We are still very much in January. Just gotta keep surviving this month. Proud Mary stars Taraja P. Henson as a hit woman named Mary. She's part of an organized crime unit in Boston, led by Danny Glover, and she encounters this young boy who, a year prior to the events of this movie, she assassinated his father, and a lot of trouble starts to ensue. This movie is awful. I'm just gonna get that out right now. Uh, there's not much I really have to say about this movie, so this is probably gonna be one of my shorter reviews, but when I saw the trailers for this, it looked like it had potential to it. Uh, Taraja P. Henson is great. I really like her, especially in Hidden Figures. And I guess based on the posters, I was expecting some sort of like a black exploitation, not not spoof, but throwback, kind of like a more serious version of Black Dynamite. Uh, and with the opening credit sequence, I thought I was getting that. But as the movie goes on, it just turns into a generic, standard, hitman action movie. And it's just so dull. And all the shittiness involving this movie has to deal with the film's script. This is a horrible, horrible script because it makes Taraja P. Henson's character a terrible hit woman. She's responsible for the death of this boy who she brings in, which I'm actually going to let that slide because if it wasn't for that event, we wouldn't have a movie going on, which I guess is a good thing. Moving on. I'm not going down that line of logic. But anyway, as the movie progresses, every little conflict that she does makes matters worse and you're like, this is a hit woman that no one in their right mind would ever keep around because she's very irresponsible. She often disobeys orders from her boss, and because the mob that she's a part of decides to keep her around, it just makes every character in this movie so goddamn stupid. And the acting's pretty bad. I'm not gonna blame Taraja P. Henson completely because the script gives her nothing to work with. She does the best job that she can, but the little boy she has to take care of is terrible. One of her co-workers in the mob is terrible. Danny Glover is terrible. And there's no real conflict throughout the movie. Every time the movie tries to go forward with some dramatic moments where the two characters argue with each other, it's suddenly resolved at the snap of a finger with no consequences at all. It's like, I hate you, I hate you too. I'm so sorry. Okay, moving on to the next scene. Okay, so all that shit's bad, but at least the action can be fun, right? No, the action is dull, uninspired, uh, and it sometimes goes into the realm of horrible editing where I can't make out anything that's going on. It's just awful all around. There's nothing really redeeming that I have to say about this movie except for the fact that it never pissed me off. It's just boring. When the, we got to the middle of the movie, I honestly dozed off. I think twice. That's how boring this movie was. So just don't waste your money on it. It looked like it had potential to it. I did like the opening sequence, but after that, it just goes downhill completely. And that's my review for Proud Mary. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the movie, if and when you've seen it. And as always, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.